contains two kinds of photoreceptors, rods and cones. Whoa. I reacted the same way when I first learned about phototransduction. Take that, Professor Vortex. Echo, are you hiding a comic book in your textbook? No, I wouldn't do that. I'm just openly reading it. Shameful! We're here to learn science. <laughs> Derby? You're watching TV during science? Science schmience. I'm aware of your attitude toward this class. Science schmience is the name of the show I'm watching and happens to be my attitude towards this class. Welcome back to Science Schmience. It's a science show. They do these cool experiments to make learning science fun. Oh, like my class. <laughs> Derby? My mom says if you can't say something nice, don't say anything until you can think of a really good zinger. <laughs> so give me a minute. Kids, I've enjoyed every one of our 800 shows together. But now, it's time for me to retire as host of the show. Derby, are you okay? I, I can't believe it. It was the closest thing I ever had to a science t-shirt. <laughs> Kapow, zinger! upset about this Professor Les thing. Guys, look who's here. Professor Les. Professor Les. I'm a huge fan. Not as big as me. I still have my official fan club wig I got from sending in 50 labels from your sponsor. Joe Jr., pre-sweetened coffee for kids. I was so excited when it arrived, I didn't sleep for a month. <laughs> Professor Les, can I have your autograph on this? Sure, kid. <laughs> I'll never wash this face again. Professor Les, this is Mr. Young, the guy you wanted to see. It's a pleasure to meet a fellow scientist. I'm here because it's time for me to retire. At least, according to the weasels at the network. Why they let small furry creatures make programming decisions is beyond me. Anyway, I need to find my replacement. A fresh face. Adam has a fresh face. Just look. Like a baby's bottom. Derby, you know I like the teddy bear diapers. So, will you be the new host of... Science Schmiance? Who's cheering? Your new fans! I wish they had a TV show would mean reaching a lot more kids. Showing them how fun science is. I'll do it. I'll be the new host of Science Schmiance. See, kid? They love you! And they will, as long as you're the host of... Science Schmiance! <laughs> How quickly they forget. <laughs> Ivy, new outfit? I signed up for the Holmes Club. I'm a huge Sherlock Holmes fan. <laughs> Ivy, it's not the Holmes Club. It's the Holmes Club. <laughs> See that guy over there? He lost his home. I suspect foul play. Come, Watson. The game is afoot. <laughs> we don't solve mysteries. We build houses to help the less fortunate. I signed up to help the less fortunate. That makes me less fortunate. 
to make sure my house has a pool. We're not building a house for you. We're building a house for him. Pass. Come on, Ivy. If nothing else, it will look good on a college application. College? There are college guys in college. Yes, and if you want to be a college girl in college, you're gonna need some help. I mean, when was the last time you got an A in school? Elementary, my dear Watson. I promised Principal Tata that shooting this show wouldn't interfere with your teaching schedule. So I had the set built right here. Hey, it looks great. Wow. Suddenly this room makes me want to learn. <laughs> Never mind, it's gone. <laughs> so, are you ready for your big debut? You bet. I can't wait to inspire young minds and create the scientists of tomorrow. You won't be talking like that on the air, will you? Today, we're going to use electricity to conduct a really cool experiment. We're going to use this lemon to make our very own battery, which we'll use to power this coffee maker. No way! Science is magic! <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> and you won't. Until we talk about the principles at work. Principles at work. If we wanted to work, we wouldn't become principles. <laughs> By using two electrodes, a copper penny, and a zinc-coated nail. We're able to convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Adam, less science, more schmience. <laughs> Fine. And there you have it, a coffee maker powered by a lemon. <laughs> Joe Jr. <laughs> I don't know why they took this stuff off the market. <laughs> hey, if a lemon can power a coffee maker, I wonder how much power we could get from this. <laughs> Derby, wait. The electrolytes in a watermelon are totally different from a... <laughs> lemon. <laughs> Derby. That was irresponsible. That was dangerous. That was fantastic television. <laughs> Kid, congratulations. You're the new host of the show. Kid, whatever the opposite of congratulations is, you're fired. What? Derby? But he doesn't know anything about science. Science schmience. You hear that? The people have spoken. <laughs> what people? <laughs> You're making Derby the host of a science show? He doesn't know the first thing about science. No, I don't. I love this kid. Hey, we'll just give you a sidekick who can make sure the science is sound. Hey, kids. <laughs> Welcome to Science Schmience. 
Allow me to introduce my new sidekick, Newton. Welcome back to Science Schmience! <laughs> where we're investigating the mysterious weather phenomenon known as the Twister! I wouldn't say mysterious. It's simply a rotating column of air simultaneously <clears throat> in contact Stick to the script. Ooh, ooh. Ee, ee. That's right, Newton. It is mysterious. Wow. Monkey's smart. Maybe I can hire him to replace Mr. Young. I think now is a good time to warn kids not to try this at home. Nah. Try it at home, kids. Look how cool this is. It's a twister in a box. <laughs> Are you at least going to explain the science, the low pressure core created <clears throat> by. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ee, ee. What's that, Newton? We should get a closer look at this twister? Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Mr. dropped him. Oh. Maybe that tree will break his fall. Oh. Yep. No. Stop. Oh. Nope. Uh. I look good in this fancy hat. It's very flattering. I wonder why. Don't wear more. Costume. A talking leaf monkey? This world's full of mystery. That's why the Holmes Club's so popular. <laughs> And welcome to another episode of Science Schmiance. Ooh, ooh, ow, ow. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about quicksand. Now, quicksand is mud. We all know that, right? Who doesn't? 
Actually, it occurs when an underground source of water pushes continuously up into sand, separating the grains so they're barely touching. Quicksand is mostly water. Death water. <laughs> well, one must consider the viscosity. Good idea, Newton. A demonstration. <laughs> now, if Newton were out walking and happened to fall into some quicksand, what should he do? Scream, panic. Those may seem like good ideas. They won't save him. Because quicksand is mostly water, all Newton needs to do is float on his back. Oh well, I'm sure it works better with a real monkey. Newton, get in. The death water's warm. Come on, Adam, do it! For schmience! Find another monkey. I quit. If that monkey quit the show, I can hire him to replace Mr. Young. <laughs>
So, since Mr. Tater's not available, can I be the monkey now? You want to be a monkey? Be a monkey, but on your own time. Show's canceled. Instead, I'll be hosting the best of Science Schmience. You hear that? I'm back. So, you want to go grab some lunch? What about Tater? Tater Schmader. People have spoken. I can't believe that guy sold the husk we made for him. I know, in this market. I wonder who bought it. I did! Ah! Dang, you're going to live in the quad? Oh, no. That's a very bad neighborhood. Teenagers everywhere. So I took apart the house and rebuilt in a classier area. The janitor's closet? Yes. I'll show you. 